Let me say to everyone here, you know the greatest miracle that can happen in anybody's life is the miracle of a changed life. I am as overwhelmed as you are. Tonight, you've seen a blind healed. You've seen non-verbal autism re reversed. You've seen cerebral palsy. So many people rose up from their wheelchairs and crutches dropped. You know, someone said after American conference, I never used to believe these things until I saw it happen in front of me. And he was writing about it on social media. And tonight you have seen what this God can do. There are people who are here. You don't know Jesus. You've not received him as your personal Lord and Savior. Let me tell you. We bless God for the miracles. But that's not it all. If you see these miracles. And you've not received Jesus in your life. This this whole thing we did here would have been a waste but I do know there are people who are here who are saying pastor please pray, pray with me I know I'm not close to God it's possible I've been on NSPPD but I don't know there's God and if that is you tonight and you're saying I want to remember the 10th of August as the day I took that decision to live for Jesus the second NSPPD conference that was held in Twickenham Stadium. I want to remember that day. And you're saying, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. People, there's still a place called heaven. And there is still a place called hell. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Tonight, I present to you a Jesus that loves you that's been asking for you he's been checking on you he doesn't just want you to come to this meeting and leave the same way you came and if you're saying to me Pastor Jerry away from all the needs I came to this meeting with I know some of you travel from different countries to be here and if that is you raise your right hand and if you're saying, Pastor, I want to receive Jesus. I'm not close to God. I don't know Him. I don't have a relationship with Him. If that is you, lift up your right hand. And you're saying, Pastor, I want to receive Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. Please, say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come and be my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me, sanctify me, and make me pure and whole again. Amen. If you say this prayer, it simply means that you're born again. You are changed. Can I pray for you right now? I decree, let the power to be called the son and daughter of God. Let the power to live out the life of Jesus. Let it be made fully manifest in your life. The chain of sin is broken. I wish the congregation would thunder a louder amen. amen. The chain of addiction is broken. Amen. The chain of setback is broken. Amen. Let your amen thunder louder. Amen.